Hello everybody, it's Torin here from Whippy Gaming, and today I'm giving you a quick tutorial on how to install and use Hero Chat. Now, Hero Chat is a chat plugin for Bucket, and what it does is it gives you custom colors, custom prefixes, custom suffixes, custom chat groups, so any specific, uh, specific people can hear, ignore lists, it's got the whole thing just for Bucket, you know, it's a great chat plugin. So, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to install and use it. So, Click the download link here, and it should download a Hero Chat jar. I've already, I've already downloaded it and placed it in my plugins folder. So once you've downloaded it, place it in here, and once you've placed it in here, launch your server up, and look at the change log, not the change log, the console log. Once it starts up, hopefully if it ever does, there we go. Alright, here you go, this is what we want to look at. It says Hero Chat, Hero Chat version 4.11.0 enabled, right? So that means you've got it, you've actually got, you know, the plugin enabled, which is good. This is what you want. So I'm going to meet you in game and I'll show you the commands and how to want to, how to use it. Alright, cool. Alright guys, uh, something I forgot was once you've loaded up your server for the first time, the first thing you want to do is close it down again. <clears throat> and go back into your plugins folder and it would have generated this config folder uh, file sorry underneath the hero chat folder uh, it is a config yml so when you're editing it be careful not to mess up any of the spaces otherwise it won't work and I'll link you to a yaml parser online which checks if you've done it right or not so basically what this config does is it sorts all of the channels out that have been created and these are just the uh, the default ones so I'll do the first two for example. Uh, the local one is all you have to do is type in the command to join the chat and you type local and I'll show you how to do that. And what the local does is it only lets you speak within, well, in this case, a 100 block radius. So anyone in the 100 block radius will be able to hear you. Anyone outside of the 100 block radius won't be able to hear you. So you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool thing. Uh, the permissions there are speak and join and everything else is there as well. Um, then you have the staff group, which is obviously just for admins and mods. Uh, that signifies who has the authority on the server. And the rest of the uh, groups are right there, so you can have a look at them when you load your server up. Um, I'm going to go into the my Minecraft now and show you all the commands for it. So I'll see you right there. Okay guys, welcome back. I am on the server. I am going to give you a command tutorial now. So if you do ch help that's going to list all of the hero chat help if you do ch list that's going to list all of the visible chats in the server if you do ch who that's going to display the list of players in your active channel I'm the only one on the server so it's only going to list me if you do ch the channel name and then the password it will change you it will set your active channel, all future messages will be directed to that channel, so if I do ch local, I think I'm already in local so it's going to... Alright, set focus on local, if I just spam this chat, I say I'm not in local because my focus is on local, and I haven't actually, the thing is with my server is we use iChat, but I just installed it on here just so I can get through it, so if I'm going to type anything it's not going to work, but you can also do ch join local, that works as well, and obviously password if that's a password to the chat or you can do is join local obviously the name of the channel and then password or the password that is set another one you can do is ch leave local or just leave local and then that will leave the current chat you're in or what else you could do is qm local then the message of what you want a quick message to thing here so basically what this is going to do is going to send a quick message to the channel without changing your actual active channel which is kind of cool because say you're in a local channel and you want to send something to the staff but you don't have to change your active channel so that's pretty cool uh, the next one which is pretty cool is ch ignore and then the player name so if samkyo was on night i'd do ch ignore samkyo but obviously he's not online so I can't ignore him. Uh, if no player name is given your current ignore list is displayed. If a name is given your ignore 
or unignore that player. So basically, I don't think you can see what they type. I'm not too sure. I haven't tested that one out. Uh, obviously, they can't message you, which is pretty awesome. You know, if there's an annoying spammer, you could want to just ignore him or just want to just mute him. Um, now I'm just going to do obviously what everyone's interested in is how to create the channels. I believe it is ch create. Let's say let's just call it channel for the sheer purpose of this tutorial. Uh, the nickname. This is what it will show up as, right? So the name of this channel is channel, but the nickname is what it's going to show up in the chat. So we'll just say Wupa, and then the color. Right, this is what it's going to show up in the color. Um, it should be replaced with a, a number representing the color. So <clears throat> I'm probably going to do. Let's see, what color should we do? Let's do. I'm going to do five. I'm, I'm actually not too sure on how to do the colors, but you can always check the wiki which is an extremely detailed wiki which you can go and find out and then you can do the various options which are below but I'm not going to go through the options so we created the channel channel so let's do ch channel and there's no password so we can't you know there's they can't set a password yet and there you go we set focus on the channel let's do ch remove channel Obviously, my name of the channel is channel, so that will remove the channel. So I'm back onto local, which I think is awesome. Instead of just kicking you back into global, it will put you back into your latest group. Uh, then we can do ch mod, and then the channel name. So it's the channel again, and then the player name. So Samco, if I wanted to mod a player within the channel, that's how I'd go about doing it. It grants moderator status to the player over a channel, and I think that allows people to invite people in. I think I can't remember it. It allows to um, remove people from the channel and mute people from the channel, so that's awesome. So if Sam Kerr was online, I'd be able to mod him into the channel. Uh, we can do ch kick and then channel name and then Sam Kerr again. This would currently kick the player from the channel. If it's an open channel, they can just join straight back again. If it's password protected, they can't get back in, which is good. Uh, let's do ch ban channel name and then samkyo again this would ban the current player from the channel so they can't join again which is good and if you change anything in the config file do ch reload I'll do that now and obviously I haven't changed anything so it's not going to work uh, it says plugin reloaded there let's do ch mute channel and then the player this would mute the channel uh, mute the player in the channel. Uh, let's do ch g mute and then Sam Kyo. This would globally mute the person so they can't talk, you know, globally. And the last command is ch toggle and then channel. This toggles a channel if a channel is disabled, only admins and moderators can speak in it. So this only allows people obviously this will stop spam. Say everyone's in the global chat, you do ch toggle, this disables it. Only admins and moderators can speak in that channel and that will help stop spammers. So I'm just going to pause that there and okay. That's all of the commands. So hope this helped you. Uh, I know it wasn't the best explanation, but it's still good, so yeah. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more plugin reviews. Alright, I'll see you guys later.